today's episode, Ingrid Third, Public Enemy, Number One, Act One, First Things Third. Dear Wayne, greetings from your old hometown, man. Sorry I haven't written you yet, but things are pretty busy down here at the safety patrol. But with the best officer on the force having moved away to Tennessee. <laughs> By the way, I'm talking about you. A lot of stuff's gone down since you left. Thought I'd tell you about it. <laughs> Last time we saw each other, I caught you saying your goodbyes to the school. You've come to pay your last respects? My mom went to stock up on her favorite brand of beet juice, if you can believe that. They don't have it down in Tennessee. Just came to take a last look, you know? Think about all the jams you used to get us into. Excuse me. We wouldn't have been in half those jams if it wasn't for your always having to do things by the book. You threw out my book. <laughs> that reminds me. Safety Patrol official guidelines, regulations, and mission overview. 12th edition. Brand new. You're gonna need it. I did some research. And I found out that your new school has one of the best safety patrols in the country. That should transfer. I had Vallejo call the captain down there, and we set the whole thing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you'll need this. Thanks, Fillmore. For everything. And just as you split... Ex Middle School got a new arrival, Ingrid Third. Hi! <laughs> Surprise, Chef! I'm Sherry Shotwell with the Ex Middle School Welcome Wagon. Welcome, Ingrid Third! Uh, hi. Thank you. Can you tell me why all the kids are looking at me like... Like you transferred from Laneville? <laughs> sure. First, you're new. Second, you do dress differently. Third, it's only a matter of time before kids learn you're the smartest kid in school. Yeah, I looked at your transcript. Now here's an X-shaped cookie. It's X Middle School delicious. I'll see you at the intro later today. So, lunsies. Intro? Hey, guys, if it ain't the lone wolf himself... Looks like the wolf's days of being alone are numbered. Don't worry, you'll like your new partner just fine, Fillmore. What? No partners, Vallejo. From now on, I work solo. Cornelius Fillmore, meet your new partner, Brad Parnassus. And, uh... Vud Graton, my attaché. Vallejo, maybe you've been listening to your Britney too loud. So I'll repeat myself. No partners. Henceforth, I go solo. Say one more word, Fillmore, because that'll be a suspension. And you know what? I figure I need a little vacation from your attitude. One more word. Got me. But... Get in. Are you Principal Folsom? Ingrid, I don't know you, but I'm mad like you. Uh, thanks. Did you just use the term mad, Principal Folsom? Nope. I saw your transcript. You're brilliant. Cynthia, I said easy on my rouge. You know you're pretty. You should wear something yellow. Now, Ingrid, let's go introduce you to the school. Introduce me to the school? Good morning, everyone. First off, I would like to introduce you to a new student that I am confident will become an intellectual force here at X Middle School. I see her leading the chess team to new glories. I see her astounding senior citizens creating invisible walls with the mime troupe. Students, I give you Ingrid Third. <laughs> oh, not yet, Judd. Ingrid. We have a little tradition here at X, the ceremonial razzing. Here's the drill. Everyone's always mean to the new kid, am I right? Here at X, we try to do away with that right off the bat so everyone gets it out of their system. So, for the next 120 seconds, the student body will pelt you with harmless, semi-rigid foam balls. School stinks. Again, Ingrid, welcome. Act 
Act Two, Third Strikes, She's Out. Your shift started 28 minutes ago. Um, sorry, I had some unexpected... I looked at your file. Why would the smartest kid in school sign on to walk a safety patrol be? Well, service to my fellow classmates. Please. Protractor club, chemistry club, pre-pre-pre-med club. I'm over type. Already trying to look good for college applications. It's silly, man. It's silly not thinking about college applications now. It's silly not doing everything you can to ensure your future. Stink bomb. Big one. Come on, Parnassus. We gotta help. No. <laughs> it's a wall of odor. I was just on my way to class when the hallway started to reek so very badly. It's gonna be okay. Pull your shirt over your nose and come on. Eight trips into the stink, 12 students pulled out of it. Fillmore, the Folsom administration thanks you. Hey, it's what I do. You tell me what you need. Anything. Days off, extra locker, a free period for the rest of the year. <sighs> now that's a stink. Ah, it's like pickled fish guts put through a sewage treatment plant. A brilliant metaphor, Principal Folsom. Parnassus, what are you doing here? I have a theory as to the identity of our malodorous malcontent. I believe the culprit is... Ingrid Third. Do you have any evidence? Well, she is the girl that announced to the entire student body that this school stinks. Parnassus, if that's all you got. She also has a history of discipline problems. They weren't in her file, but huh, I called around. The past doesn't equal the future, Parnassus. <laughs> Judging people that way is easy, but it doesn't always lead to the truth. Mm-hmm. Here's the file, Principal Folsom. By the way, you look radiant. Cornelius, why are we at the bank? She had a theory about Ingrid, but she didn't have any proof. I'm looking for some, one way or the other. This is on Ingrid's route to school. And contrary to popular belief, the walls don't have ears. They've got eyes, Parnassus. Hey, Trent. Thanks, man. Hey, Fillmore, I owe you. Where's Wayne, man? He moved. Hold up. Well, looky here. Ingrid Third walking to school. Read the numbers, Parnassus. 084723. Disco. Stink bomb went off between a quarter to nine and ten after. The chem club said someone had to set it off. Sorry, Parnassus. Ingrid didn't do it. Shh. The girl's talking. Yes. I, Ingrid Third, planted the stink bomb. Some room. <laughs> I practically spent my first two months of school here. Tilda is my former partner Wayne drafted me out of a life of delinquency and into the safety patrol. You're lying, Ingrid. You didn't do it, and I can prove it. So what? Listen, they're going to expel me, and I want out. Why would I want to stay here? I have an ATM tape that proves you weren't anywhere near the school when the stink bomb was set off. And I have an eggplant that looks like Fred Durst. Did you hear me? I don't care. I just want to forget you people. Don't say you people, because this person's been out there busting his tail trying to clear your name. And what do I get in return? A messed up eggplant. Well, what's that? Sean of Art cracks a smile. Ingrid, you didn't do it. Don't take the fall because of a hundred fools who want easy answers. You've got a friend at X. Me. You know, I was thinking... If one person other than the welcome wagon girl is the least bit nice to me by 2 o'clock, I wouldn't confess to doing something I didn't do. I would have been here earlier, but I was busy trying to clear a friend's name. Cornelius Fillmore. Ingrid Third. What's going on? Falston released Ingrid into my school day custody and gave me more time for the investigation. First order of business? Liquid stink and stank powder. What's that? Standard ingredients in a stink bomb like this. A prank company named Yuxco makes liquid stink and stink powder. We should start with them. You seem to know a lot about stink bombs. Oh, sorry. I just have an ethical problem working beside criminals. You see, I believe you did it. Parnassus, you saw the tape. Did you see her record? 
Have you seen mine? I used to be going in the wrong direction. That changed because someone looked beyond the hype. Listen, Parnassus, you're smart, but you just don't want to think. This person looks this way, so they have to act that way. They talk like this, so they have to do that. Life ain't that easy, man. You got to dig deeper. I wouldn't be here if someone didn't do that. Maybe you're right, Fillmore. I'm sorry, Ingrid. I may have judged you much too quickly. I think I have a lot to think about and perhaps apologize for. Why don't you help us find out who did it first? Can you call the local joke shops and see if anyone's bought up a bunch of liquid stink and stank powder? Done. Are you reading those files? Yeah, photographic memory. This school, you got kids with slingshots, baseball card sharks, test paper peddlers, but you don't have any rebels. That's why you gotta stick around. I'm sorry, Fillmore. About what? Ingrid. What about me? That you're a criminal. I just got off the phone with Lemmy's bulk prank supply. Man, what are you talking about? A girl fitting Ingrid's description bought enough stank powder for two mega stink bombs that afternoon. That same afternoon, Ingrid took her razzing so badly. Ingrid, I hereby retract my previous apology. Shame on you. I'm sorry, but I need to get home. I have a Swedish test in the morning. Ingrid, you got an explanation? No explanation needed. Looks like I'm guilty. You're the only person in this whole school that believed in me, and it looks like you were wrong, huh? Case closed. Ingrid, I need to know the truth. Here it is, Fillmore. I'll see you at the expulsion hearing Monday. Act three, the third act. She bought more stank powder that day than I've sold in six months. By the way, may I interest you in hot pepper gum? Mm, put me down for a box of the gum. You notice anything else strange about her? Yes, well, there was something. By Don King's hair, that's her! Let you? Your dad. How dare you bring a dancy lad's pin into my house? Joke time is done. I just caught you at Lemmy's Book Prank Supply 15 minutes ago. And you ran, Ingrid. What? Did you see my face? Okay, so here's your choice, Officer Fillmore. You can decide that I actually planted the stink bomb, leave my house, and let them run me out of X in peace. Or, if you're really interested in the truth, you can think. Folsom told me that I'm the smartest kid in school, Fillmore. I could be Dopey Joe McGillicuddy and still see that someone is trying to frame me. What did Folsom say? I'm the smartest kid in school. Disco. Parnassus was the smartest kid in school before you arrived. A kid like that, so focused on his future, he may have considered you a threat to his academic supremacy. It all makes sense. He was 28 minutes late the day of the stink bomb. He was the one that pushed Folsom to bring you in. That's why he joined up. To cover his tracks from the inside. All this is just facts on paper. We've got nothing on him. Actually, Fillmore... To think, I just took Brad's sash to put a voodoo curse on him. Who knew it might have evidence on it? Now I'll add the chemical equivalent to liquid stink. If this starts smelling, we have a winner. Ugh! Brad went to school. He has keys for chess club practice. Do you recognize this pin? No way. That's my limited edition mini gloss orangey orange dancy lads pin. It disappeared along with my black sweater. Give it. Sorry. I'll have to hold on to it until my investigation is complete. How long ago did Brad leave? Ugh, like ten minutes ago? He said he was making bagels. He had these two mongo bags of flour. Flour? Try stink powder. He's going to plant another stink bomb. No, he isn't. Locked. Where did you learn how to pick? You know how my records list that I spent a year in Nepal? They didn't say that I was at a reform school. What? I didn't think it was pertinent to your investigation. What were you in for? A number of things, including an incident with a stink bomb and a pinata. You're right. It wasn't pertinent. Oh!
Must be going. <laughs> We've been compromised! Plan Beta! With Fillmore still sniffing around, I thought I'd give him something to sniff. And at the same time, make certain you were kicked out of school. You were new and different. People don't look beyond that. It was so easy to get them to believe you were a criminal. Then Fillmore had to get involved. I thought you wanted to get expelled, Ingrid. I changed my mind. BTW, here's a neat trick I learned recently. Parnassus. No, it's not. Oh, no, it is. And surprise, surprise, Parnassus. The stinking X comes from you. And it doesn't matter if I take you down today. Because Monday morning, Folsom's going to have everything. The motive, the circumstantial, even the hard evidence. You fool! Here's your hard evidence! You okay, Ingrid? Yeah, thanks. Where's Parnassus? Probably halfway home by now. Too bad I'm such a sucker for seeing justice done. I could have gone to a nice boarding school in Maine. So, it was I. I who planted the mega stink bomb. It is like I said. I was acting out my rage over not trying out for the school play. Parnassus is handing you guys a pile of straight-up garbage, and you're all smiling like it's imported Belgian chocolate. It was Parnassus, not Bud. I have a 15-page report that shows it all right here. Brad is a member of the Honesty is Fun Club. He served in student government, and last Christmas he bought fruit baskets for every faculty member in school. And this was the good stuff, with imported Belgian chocolates. You accuse him one more time, I will have your sash. Ingrid. I'm sorry about this whole thing. I'll make it up to you. Here's a valuable coupon book for the cafetorium. I actually already... Thanks. Anyways, nice earring, Parnassus. We had him dead to rights, Ingrid. You didn't bust him, but you did beat him, Fillmore. Cause, and I don't know how, you got me to stick around. This will serve as my resignation to the safety patrol. I thank all of you for your comradeship and expertise. I don't like losing Fillmore. We'll call this one a tie. You're a worthy opponent. I look forward to working against you in the future. I hate to admit it, but you're a worthy opponent too. How about a stick of gum? Well, why not? Some gum sounds rather refreshing. Need water so hot hey don't sweat it Fillmore you'll get another crack guys like that they don't know how to quit when they're ahead forget about it man and by that I mean that you should forget about it hey Ingrid thanks no way Fillmore it's my turn thanks for everything late Ingrid hold up hey Vallejo yeah Fillmore uh going solo that isn't gonna work I'm not gonna do the job of two people I want another partner 
You, uh, got somebody in mind? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. I give you Safety Patrol Officer Ingrid Third. Not yet, Judd. Oh. So that's how it all went down. I got a new partner and a new enemy. Hey, and I also got a story to tell you. I hope things are going all right with you, man. You sure are missed. Look out. Because one of these days, I'm going to take a trip down there and see how Safety Patrol is done Southern style. Drop me a line sometimes and tell me what up, man. Your good friend, Cornelius Fillmore. Hey, what up? What you reading? Hey, Emily. It's a letter. I can see that, Wayne. Who's it from? Him. Cornelius Fillmore. My old partner. Cool. Is he doing good? Yeah. He's doing good. Sounds like he's doing real good. <laughs>